Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, sir. Very good. My name is Alper. I am teacher Alper. And uh, we will talk about simple present tense today. So the first thing first, uh, let's get to know each other a little bit. All right. Are you guys ready for that? Yes. All right. I will start with you. I'll pass the ball to you. And what is your name? Lawrence. Lawrence, I'll pass it to you. Jim. What is your name? Jim. Jim. Lawrence, Jim? Jim. Jim. Nicole. Nicole. Linda. 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 Where is your name tag? <laughs> All right. Let's see. Which one? You lie down. What kind of yeah. All right, so Lawrence, <coughs> which city do you come from? For example, uh, I come from Vancouver. Okay, and when I ask you, you will tell me which city do you come from. So which city do you come from? And you will say, I come from. <laughs> what is the city? City. So, 
I read, so I want you to repeat after me, okay? I read. I read. Good. And then? We like. We like. Good. And then? They live. They live. That was a trick one. Say it again. They live. They live. Good. Perfect. And so what about? Third person, so we call this third person. This is very important. Observe carefully, right? Okay. So we can do, for example, for he. Let's say Lawrence. Lawrence reads. Lawrence reads. Okay. And Nicole, for example, Nicole likes. Nicole likes. Good. And for it, we can have it here, so I'm going to say, it lives. It lives. Great. What about if just write here quickly? Read, likes, and lives. Right? Right, Lawrence? Good. Good student. Okay. And these ones, they don't change. They're the same. Okay. Read, like, live. And just only third person you add to the tag as I'll just show you something quickly. Uh, this is where you make the mistake the most. So I'll give you the tags. So we have um, S and E S tags. So if you want to remember simple present tense, I have a trick. You won't see this anywhere else. Ready? Oh, you have to memorize this. I'll, this is very easy. Verb, okay, plus the word source. Just watch carefully what's going to happen here. This is fun. Okay? So, this is the word source. I just made it up. I'll tell you why in a second. So, if you are referring to a third person for simple present tense, we have to add the tag S or, or ES. ES. Perfect. Clap yourself. For example, talking about Lila. Glada, what does she do? Read or reads? Reads. See? Good. Reads books. What about I? Is it I watch TV or I watch TV? Which one? I watch TV. I watch TV. Yes, I watch, I watch, I watch TV. TV. So you said, I watch his TV. I watch his TV is only for the third person. Okay? Here. Third person. He, she, it. If it's, let's say, I, uh, V, you, they, you don't have to uh, have to ask, okay? Or ES for that matter. Uh, for spelling, uh, I have one more rule here I'm going to share with you guys. Okay? So here. What about if you do this? Um, if you don't know how, we add ES after, um, for example, let's say S, S, H, S, and C, H. Okay. So these are um, words here. I'll show you in a second. Jin likes 
games, for example, right? But what about if you put this verb, let's say you buy, right? You buy, let's say, pencil. How do you say gin does that action? So, what about unicorn? What should you do? Gin buys, buys pencil. Gin buys. So what about this? Any volunteer? Tries. Tries. What about you, Lawrence? Tries. Lawrence, almost there. Tries. 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 Tries or tries? Tries. See? Tries. So these are just a couple of exceptions. You have to memorize. Cry becomes cries. Try becomes try. Yeah. All right. So, for example, if you put into uh, something like a chart, uh, it would become something like this. I'll just show you here. The timeline. Okay. All right. So where is present? Present. For example, let's talk about the earth. The world. It, uh, let's say, the earth goes around the sun. Okay? For example, when we talk about uh, things in general, uh, let's say we talk about how to express our habits, or we talk about things that happen all the time. So we can use simple present tense. For example, let's say our action is. Um, the earth goes around the sun. This is a fact. We cannot change the fact, right? Because what happened here, I'll show you quickly. Okay. Uh, the earth was already just going around the sun, right? So it was in the past. See? It's still happening. And it, in the present, it's still happening. And it rolls into the future. Right? Sorry about that. I make sound. I make sound. Good. No more time points. Okay. Give. I give up. Okay, see? It rolled into the future. So the earth rolls around the sun. Right? Good. For example, Ayala opened at 8 o'clock in the morning. Right? So that's it's always like that. Except holidays, of course. Right? For example, uh, Nicole. Right? Nicole works very hard, right? You work very hard, correct? Or you study very hard. Nicole studies very hard. Or uh, Lawrence plays basketball very well. See? Um, so, three things. Just remember this too, okay? G, S, A. Sometimes students are confused about uh, simple present tense, all right? So they are like, how do you remember? What you can do is this. Remember this G S A. The meaning is this: uh, for the things that happen in general, right? General, see, general, and also for the things, for the actions uh, that happen sometimes, right? That happens sometimes, right? Sometimes, and. What about this? What do you think this is? For the actions that always takes you five months. Plus ten for you, later. Some you are in ten points. Okay, always. All right. See. In general, sometimes, always. If you remember this, you will rock in some present times. So that's easy like that. Also for mistakes, I'll just show you a couple of mistakes people usually. Made, for example, okay. <coughs> something like this. Now, for example, uh, I don't know, yeah. About this. What, what's wrong with this? We're all grammar. Good. So, what, how can I fix it? 
Read it, but don't, don't tell. Don't tell. If it's a question, we're going to say it. Exactly, reading. as it is. Yeah. So if this is a question, we're going to say the question. Too. That's right. And then and the, the last school. person will give you the answer question. That's right. So can you memorize? Yes. Can you memorize? Oh, open it. Okay, three, two, one, go. This way. Yes, perfect. And Nicole, 
y esta san, esta samandawi. This event commences from 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. from 8 a.m. and street chest for a week. And this event is specially held to honor St. Joseph, the patron saint of Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Show me one uh, verb. For example, in the sentence, which one is the verb? Just give me one example. Show me a verb. Well, how do you read? Commences. Perfect. Good one. And also, I uh, like them, please. You are six, right? So, number six, Feast of Santa Lumina. Don't forget to add 
like us, right? For example, yeah, smartphone costs a lot of money. Perfect. Think that. So Shoes are expensive. Go to 5.4, or at 5.4, even size. Let's make a couple examples here. So number two. Uh, so these are jumbled words, so we have to make sentences. So let's make a couple sentences, okay? Okay, so one volunteer. I'm perfect. Okay, Jim, number two. What should it be? Julia enjoy. Julia always enjoy parties. Perfect. Clap for Jim. Clap for her. Good job. Number three. Volunteer, please. We will do it together. Nicole, please. Megan work hard. Megan usually work hard. Work or verbs? Work. Verbs. Did you guys hear that? It's hard. Okay. Megan usually verbs. Hard. Hard. Good. And number five. What is here? They always nice girl. Different. Okay, Lauren. Number five. What should it be? They always nice girl. Say it again. We. Put the all of the adverbs. We. We always. We always have dinner at six thirty. Okay. Good. Okay. One more. What about Gladio? Okay. Let's do it together. All right. Uh, let's say number seven, Gladio. Let's do it together. So we have four words here: like, chocolate, children, and usually. What should it be, Gladel? Let's make a sentence together. Children. Children. What's the next word? It's, I'll give you a hint here. One last word. Children. Usually. Usually. Children, usually. Say usually, children. See here, children usually. Children usually like. Perfect. That's one more time. Okay, good. Last one. Okay, let's do it together. Your best. 
I trust in you. So any questions so far? No? No. All instructions clear? So you will also do your homework at home? Yes? Yes. Okay, so thanks for your participation. Uh, I hope to see you soon again, alright? You guys have a great day. Thank you.